What is going on, everybody? We are back on it for the last time for how long, I don't know, but One Punch Man Season 2, Episode 12. Um, we left off last episode. Garo is... First of all, he was beaten up by Watchdog Man. Then he got one-shotted and knocked unconscious by Saitama. Then he got bum-rushed by a group of, what, six or seven Class A heroes that they roughed his ass up. He's got poison running through his veins. Genos just bum, bum rushed his ass and has been lighting his ass up. And now he's got Bang, um, the old man on him, and his brother as well. I physically don't see how he gets out of this. If he does, I don't know how he's not able to take more than one punch from Saitama if he can keep up and defeat and do all of this. So, things I'm interested to see this episode. How does Garo get out of this? We know he's going to get out of it alive, but how? Um, does he defeat? Does he fight his way out? Like, really defeats all three of them to get out, given his current state? Um, what happens with the Monster Association? Do we end up, like, getting there this episode? Or is that going to be completely saved for Season 3? Um, where does Saitama go right now? Does he go and end up crossing paths with Garo? Or does he go more Monster Association with the other heroes? That'll be interesting to see. And I wonder how long we're going to end up waiting for Season 3. I'm going to say, like, 2021, 20, 2022. If you guys, again, find out any information on that, let me know. Um, and if you've just been here for the One Punch Man reactions, I appreciate you. Stick around. We're going to have Hunter Hunter on the channel. We're going to start Code Geass and a couple other things. We'll have a Patreon going, and we'll take polls and do all that stuff. Um, and yeah, let's do it. We're one second in. Pressing play on the episode right now. Oh... Jesus. Oh. Oh. Jesus, he's on this man's shit. I don't know how he's not shattering bones right now, at least breaking things. Good God. Is he going full out? Dang, Garl's like flustered right now. I'm probably gonna die, he says. Well, we know he's not gonna die. That watchdog man. Oh my god. I was about to say, what do you really plan on doing here? Cleaning up the disciples' mess? Yep. I don't see how he gets out of this. Silver Fang, what? That's what, that's the only way I see him getting out of this is if they um if he gets grabbed. I don't see how he gets out of this. I don't know. That was some of the even though Garo didn't even fight back, that was some great hand. <sighs> How is he holding on? Jesus. Those sounds. 
now he's getting flashbacks. Are we actually going to get a face to this, or are they all going to just going to be these black figures? It's so weird that they're showing everybody look like a monster in his eyes. <clears throat> Why are you dodging? What am I supposed to do? Let you cross chop me in the throat? Jeez. I'm going to say that the bad guy never wins. Jesus. Getting ganged up on by the whole class. He's thinking about all this while his while he's physically about to die. Like how are they not on him right now? I don't understand how he's alive. It it blows my mind that he can keep he can stay alive and keep up with these three, but still get one shotted by Saitama. Is what's crazy. No way. Damn it. Okay. Can we just all agree that... Oh, Optimus Prime right here. He's even got the scope on his eye. He was willing to die for that, that other monster. No way that centipede like ate that shot, right? Holy shit. Oh, 
how the hell did he get down there so fast? My lord. This isn't even fighting, and the transformations look great. Threat level dragon. Well, can, is it safe to assume? Can we all say that there's no way Garo would have made it out of that alive? Can we say that? He gets defeated or killed by the three of them, correct? I'm going to say yes. At least right now. I wonder if Saitama shows up and takes his ass out. How's this poison not taking effect? <laughs> Four. Tornado, yeah. I feel like she's a good matchup for anybody. Who else? Who are the other Metal Knight? King. Uh, last, the one that he, that's class S rank one that we've never actually seen, right? Saitama does. I'm digging the soundtrack. Blind his ass. I'm never going to get tired of that bass drop every time. Straight key blast out here. Don't tell me they one shot at him. And I said the centipede was defeated before, but not killed, clearly, because he's still there. Oh, we're going in. Throw them right back in. Throw them right back in. He had to feel that though, right? Is he just like... Is it really over though? Wow. They one-shotted that man. No, they just took the skeleton off the outside. Oh. He just shed it and what? What?
I want to see Saitama come and one shot that man. Growing up, Toad did tell him not to push himself. Well, we know that's not going to do anything. He doesn't have the firepower to take him out. Blind his ass. I mean, he's going in, but is it doing anything? How do you even kill this? I mean, I'm, I know Saitama could one-shot him, but, like, how did, um... What was the number one hero's name? Bang? Or whatever his name? How did... Blast? How did he do it? We've never even seen his abilities, so we don't even know. Well, he lost a leg. And just got sliced in half. This man stays getting dismembered is he going to attach himself back together there we go nice it's good to see Genos get some shine though I don't know if it'll do anything but it's good to see him get but I feel like we always see him just get dismembered Keep going down. It's going to come out of his mouth. Sent damn firecrackers off. Is that going to be any different from what they did, though? Did it do anything? Nothing? Nothing. Wow. Not a damn thing. You hate to see it. Things you hate to see right there. All right, Saitama, feel free. Feel free. Oh, got him. I really wonder if he's going to end up becoming the monster he think he he thinks he is. Like by eating the monster cells and all that or does he decide like you know what I actually am a hero. They have to fight him. Shit. 
shit. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. Oh, Saitama and King are there. He's there. Speak! Before this man dies. Not blast though. It's gonna be Saitama. It's a trap. He's shaking. Is he really about to go in? No, it's going to be Saitama. Yeet! My god. Turn the man to dust. He turned that man to dust. And no and nobody's gonna know who really did it. Oh. <gasps> they saw him. Yeah, gave him a purpose there. He find he found some purpose. Yeah. No. <laughs> He's still so dedicated to that man. Is that how the episode ends? Oh wow. It really is going to end here. It's over. Shit. And they put the opening at the end. Um, let me scroll through here real quick. We got any kind of after credit? Uh... Scrolling through, scrolling through, scrolling through. Uh, we might have something here. Oh, we do, we do. We're at 23.30 right now if you're syncing up your episode. I'm not going to have it on the screen, but you guys can sync it up. That was it. Okay, you pieces of shit. We had a 13 second after credit scene that was pretty much nothing. Um, so yeah, that is the end of the long awaited, the year awaited um, season two. So again, I didn't have to wait that long. I waited, what, not even a year, if that? You guys that watched season one when it originally came out and then now that season two is over, was it worth the wait? You guys tell me. Um, I definitely enjoyed season two a lot more than season one. I will say though it was it was not very Saitama focused. 
So maybe that was the reason maybe the season was a little bit more enjoyable because as you see, threat level dragon here who has only been able to possibly be defeated by four different heroes. Um, Saitama comes and one shots that man into dust. Um, and that was pretty much, I've said it before, that was like the recipe for season one. It was like build up a bad guy, have him beat a hero, Saitama shows up, kills him. Build up a bad guy, have him terrorize the city, Saitama shows up, one shot, bad guy, beats Genos, oh, we think he's going to be stronger, Saitama won. And that was pretty much recycle, recycle, recycle all of season one. I thought it was okay. Season two I thought was better, because we, but it wasn't very Saitama focused. There was a good, what was there, a good three episodes there where we had zero Saitama in it. And then there were another five or so episodes where all we got was like what we just got right here. <clears throat> two minutes of Saitama. So I wonder if you go back and look at it, was Saitama even featured in 50% of the season? Like, on screen-wise? I don't know. It was very Genos, and I, w I mean, very Garos, and I would even say Genos-focused. Um, and we just got to, we just basically got a lot more of other characters. Other screen times of other heroes, building up the Monster Association, the little Taekwondo tournament they had. Um, and that was pretty much it. But I did enjoy the season. I enjoyed it more than season one. Um, but I thought it was okay. But you guys that waited those years and years, was season two worth the wait? Um, there were some episodes, like this here, the animation on this episode was not great. Like, I'll admit that. the Some of the shapes and proportions of um, some of the character uh, designs were really off and wonky, and the lines were kind of eh, all over the place. But the the first, what was that, five minutes of the episode where they were just going in on Garo... That was some of the best, like, hand-to-hand -hand stuff we've had. Um, and I'm never going to get over it. We had it for 12 episodes. That base drop every time they make contact with something is just great. Um, overall, though, it wasn't bad. Season 2, if I had to rank it, like, 1 out of 10. Mm, because cause we're not, like, we're not, this isn't Attack on Titan or My Hero Academia or Naruto or something where you're, like, you're diving into like lore and expectations and like what is going to happen and what does this mean in like time travel or prophecies or anything like that like one punch man is very kind of like one note one key you know there's an objective a bad guy and a fight like that's it there's no like prophecies or future or mystery or something we don't know on screen you know um it just kind of is what it is. So there's nothing to really like talk and like speculate about like, oh, I wonder what's going to happen when so-and-so did. Like, I mean, all we have to look forward to is like, what does Garo end up deciding? Does he be decide to become the full-fledged monster and like ingest the cells? And that's what gives Saitama purpose. Like this finally becomes a, a villain, somebody for him to fight that actually takes up more than one of his hits and like actually pushes him slash maybe could even defeat him. Um, Cause I feel like this Orochi guy is gonna be a waste um or does garo get pushed to a point where he's like you know what i'm not a monster i can be my own type of hero type thing i feel like that's kind of all we're looking forward to um i want to get introduced to blast the s rank number one hero that we haven't seen um besides that i would give season two if i'm scaling it one out of ten one being i would never watch again ten being it's one of the best seasons of any anime i've ever seen say a six six out of ten so, you know, it was enjoyable, and I would watch it again. Um, and that's just kind of is what it is, but just like that, Attack on Titan done, One Punch Man done. Um, so yeah, like I said in my Attack on Titan video, but I'll say it here. We're going to continue Hunter x Hunter on the channel, three episodes a week. I'm going to do it for this week and next week, just with the July 4th. Everything's going to be kind of all over the place with my gym going to be open, closed, and doing stuff with the family. So starting, So that gives me two weeks to kind of get things set up here. Um, well, two weeks because this week, and then, so the week from the 8th to the 12th, so next week is just, just going to be Hunter Hunter. Three episodes, just Hunter Hunter, and you guys will still get three episodes of Hunter Hunter this week. We'll have an episode going up Thursday, Friday, Sunday, and then next week, um, uh, maybe we won't wait Thursday, Friday, Sunday, because we don't have anything else. Maybe I'll do, like, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, something like that. The week of the 15th, so that gives me two weeks. I'm going to implement a Patreon, figure out how we want to do it. How ahead, like, do I want to release Code Geass episodes on Patreon and then put it onto YouTube? Do we want to have two weeks between, a month between? I'm going to figure out different tiers, get a Discord, kind of like a, I need to... And then through that Patreon, we'll have... I need moderators for my YouTube channel to 
do spoilerish comments that you can get rid of and discord monitor and just like all that kind of stuff but i'm gonna have that announce it i'll have a separate video for it and we'll do all that stuff if you guys want to support you can support and just know that like everything that's on patreon video wise reaction wise will end up making it to youtube it'll just be it could be two weeks later it could be a month later um so you don't have to pay to see video like you're going to end up seeing them it just might be delayed or after um but you'll get to vote I'll just take votes for the next animes on Patreon. Code Geass only has 50 episodes total. If I do two a week, we'll be done by the end of the year. Um, and we could maybe rotate something in else. But to vote on that, it's just going to be Patreon only. Um, but we'll, we'll do all that. I'm sure you guys know what Patreon is. You might even be subscribed to some people already. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. So that's it from One Punch Man. Attack on Titan and One Punch Man done just like that. Wow. Um, yeah, we'll keep it going with the Hunter Hunter. So like, share, favorite, subscribe, guys. And as always...